Welcome to January 4th, Middle School Math PD. Um, you are currently looking at the agenda for the day, and I just kind of wanted to walk you through how this day is going to flow. Most likely, you have already seen the presentation over exemplars. That's how we're going to start our day, as one big group in the cafeteria talking about exemplars. And after that very short presentation, you'll be heading back to your classroom with your campus for some planning time. During this time, there are some things that you need to do, and let me show you what those are. So the first big task is unpacking and planning, and your team lead is ready to guide you through this. As a team, you are going to go through the Lead Forward Field Guide and talk about misconceptions for the standards that you've chosen to look at today. What common misconceptions do kids have? What does the field guide say? As experienced educators, what other misconceptions do you know that students are going to have? Talk about it. Your next task is to look at the released star questions for that standard to get a feel for how it's been tested in the past and also to start to think, well, how might it be tested differently this year with our new item types? Next, you're going to do the math. So you'll look at upcoming lessons for each standard and you can see these lessons are linked on the pacing guide for you. Um, and we talked about exemplars earlier, right? So as a team, as you work through these lessons, keep in mind that one of your jobs is going to be to make an exemplar. So you're going to choose a piece of the activity or, or maybe a star problem that you're going to include in your lesson. It could be your exit ticket for that day, but um, it would be a piece of content that's important that you want to be sure the students master. And as a team, you're going to work together and make exemplars or an exemplar for, for that piece of student work. So and your exemplar should show what would ideal student work look like? And remember, um, when we do exemplars, we don't want to define one right path to the um, answer. Instead, we want to encourage multiple paths to the right answer, but we want to show, hey, this is what high quality student work looks like on this type of activity or with this type of problem. Um, so you guys are going to create an exemplar together. Uh, before lunch, you want to have that exemplar done and you can turn it in on the Google form there. Um, another thing that you're going to be doing with your campus this morning is anchor charts. Your team lead has a short presentation that they're going to do for you, and then you're going to have time to create anchor charts. All the supplies are there for you in your classroom. Um, if you'd like to create your anchor charts digitally and print them out on your poster printer back home at your home campus, that's absolutely fine too. Um, be sure to turn in your anchor chart on that Google form before you go to lunch. And that is the main piece of our campus planning time this morning. You can see that all outlined on the to-do list for you here. We have from 8.45 to 11.30 to do all of that. From 11.30 to 1, it's lunchtime. After lunch, when you come back, we're going to play a game related to Star 2.0 in the cafeteria. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, then we're going to do some really neat stuff with Canvas new quizzes that I think you're really going to enjoy. The digital learning team has helped us develop this um, training, and you're going to leave knowing how to create those new star 2.0 item types for yourself, for your students from your own Canvas course. I think you're going to love it. Um, after Canvas new quizzes, we're doing rehearsal. We'll have one big presentation together in the cafeteria. And then after that, you'll have an opportunity to rehearse with your teams. Um, the only thing that you need to turn in after rehearsal is your feedback slides. And there will be a Google form for you to turn in your feedback slides. Um, we're going to end the day with our choice sessions. And we have a good variety of choice sessions for you. We've got Zern, Dimension U, a discussion about wellness and emotional health for teachers, and also some Canvas for the math classroom. So I know you're going to enjoy those choice sessions. Thank you so much for your energy. Thank you so much for the passion and insight that you bring to your classroom every day. Um, and I can't wait to start off the new semester with you.